Hey guys, welcome back to my sewing room. Super informal day. I don't know, what is it, 30? <laughs> By now of quarantine. But anyway, um, today's video is going to be a drape with me video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to easily drape the sewing pattern for the wedding dress that I'm currently working on on my channel. I know I should have posted this first, but I didn't kill me or not, you know, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the mock-up that I currently have made. Looks exactly the same as the dress is going to be, except the dress um, is gonna have a full tool bottom instead of um, a bottom like that. Nonetheless, I'm sure you guys like this kind of bottom, so I showed you guys how I did it. Um, and I, you know what, I haven't said this in so long on my channel, but make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you guys can be alerted every time I post a new video. My new post is scheduled, I don't know if you noticed, it's going to be Mondays and Fridays, so two videos a week. Lucky you guys, right? But anyway, yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let's go ahead and get started with the video.
All right, so this is the finished mock-up. Um, obviously, it doesn't fit really good on my dress form, but I tried it on me and it fits absolutely perfectly. The only thing that I need to actually adjust on this is to um, add some ease to my um, the point where it flares out. I think I need to let it out by about a half an inch and it will help me walk a little bit better. And then I need to um, drop my boning position down about another inch or so around and I think that'll be good. My boning placement, you can kind of see it through here. I have one here set in front, one on either side here, another one there, then up to the under bust at my princess seam. I have another one to support my side bust and then um, my side seam. And it's holding it up pretty nicely. Obviously, like I said, it doesn't fit my dress form nicely because it, it's made to fit me. Another adjustment I need to make is to bring up this about, I would say bring it up about another inch and a half to two inches here, and then bring this in a little bit there. But other than that, I think it looks really good. This is the back. Once again, it doesn't fit my dress form. My butt's bigger. Um, a stitch popped on me, but uh, this is what the back looks like. And I don't have any adjustments to make to the back. I think it was, um, it fits really good. I actually, on my center back, the center back for this mesh is not straight. I have it angled in by about an inch and then it curves. Um, well, it angles down to meet the center back seam and that's how I can get the top tighter than the bottom because I was having that issue um, doing fittings. But yeah, so this is the pattern that I used to make the wedding dress that I'm currently making. That one that's sitting there. I have an order in for um, tool, but with the virus, they told me the shipping is three or four weeks. So either I'm gonna have to wait for the tool to come in or I'm gonna have to um, figure out another option for the skirt, for the skirt net. But yep, so this is what it looks like. And I hope you guys found this um, helpful. I should have posted this before I posted that one because I filmed this footage a very long time ago. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. 